Okay, satu, dua, tiga What's up guys, Fahan here with Fahan once again <laughs> I never thought I'd say this ah. Feels awkward saying it actually, yeah, because I'm not used to it First manufactured in 2012 to meet the needs of global emission standards, the KTM 350 EXC is an enduro widely known for its near-perfect balance of agility, weight, and power ratio. The 350 EXC is widely used in motorsports and is a frequent podium finisher with the stats to prove in the Enduro GP and the FEM Hard Enduro World Championships. Engine is a 349cc, liquid-cooled, single-cylinder, four-stroke, four-valve DOHC with electronic fuel injection and a six-speed manual transmission. Okay guys, so before we begin with this review, we want to highlight the sponsor of today's video, Rifki Riding Realtor. Okay, so he's not only a real estate agent, but also a fellow rider and motorcycle enthusiast. From fellow rider to another, if you're in the market to sell or buy a home, do get in touch with him at 9387-3461 or Rifki Riding Realtor on Instagram for all your property needs and queries. And we're back with Azim and today he is going to show us his second bike, his KTM 350 EXC. Now, this is a limited edition, the 6 days Spain. Eh? Okay. Wow, so basically it's a livery to commemorate the Motat race. Is it in Spain, right? The dirt race. The dirt race, sorry. Uh, uh, not Motat. Mot yeah. Your second bike, your first ever class 2A. Eh? Ah, yes, correct. Yes. Wow. Okay, so this one you're keeping. Lah. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. More comfortable. Uh, more comfortable. <laughs> so, why the 350 EXC? Coming from a 200 EXC, I wanted to try a 4 stroke. Mm. Uh, because uh, it's more comfortable. Okay. It's not as loud. Not as uh, demand, physically demanding to ride. Vibrations are a lot less comparing to that. I didn't want a DRZ. Uh, I like KTMs. Oh, you like KTM? But not really. Yeah, I'm yeah. open to guess guess. Can guess. Sponsor. Guess. Oh, guess. <laughs> guess. Sponsor, maybe. Shakers, <laughs> not so much. Yeah. Hey. Why? Not so much. Change my mind, maybe. <laughs> maybe you should give him a test ride, huh? Yes, yes. KTM look better, lah. Personally, yeah. Mm, personally, okay. I like how sharp this one looks in particular. The previous mm. model, I don't want to have the same model again, so I want to have an uh, updated look. Mm. So the previous one was a 2012, this is a 2017, so they updated the plastics. Uh. Yeah, on top of that, the livery also, the commemorative mm. six days. I think they do this every year. Eh? Uh, yeah, correct. Sometimes yeah. they year got two races, uh, I think. There's two, mm. uh, they release two models. Uh, mm. so for this mm. one, the 2017, they have France and Okay. Yeah. Maybe more correct me number. Any modifications have you made to the bike other than you know maybe more tart wheels for example? Uh, both are stock. Both are stock. Okay. They upgraded brakes. Yeah. Oh, brakes have been upgraded. Previous owner already had the brakes on for me. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't spend a dime yet lah. I mean. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> fiance, fiance. No planning to lah. No planning to. I only got the Italian two packs. Huh? Uh, how much you bought it actually? This one I bought it for 13.5 13.5 13.5 Okay yeah. 2 years left 13.5 for 2 years What do you think? Bro, it's high man High it's, yeah? Yeah, KTM Oh, okay yeah. For a DLZ mm. maybe you can get Correct me if I'm wrong But I've been seeing some 7, 8, 9, 10 maybe Oh, okay uh, KTM is exceptionally high yeah. why, why is KTM more expensive? Is it because of the Maybe the brand lah. The brand The Conti lah, Conti. Maybe you can share comparing to the EXC versus the 200 versus the 350. Ah, uh, the uh. first thing that I noticed that I really, really didn't like about this bike is a postal, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the exhaust is like extremely hot. When I first took my 2A, I was riding the uh, Super 4 Revo uh. from SSDC. That one it really bothers me because uh, of the heat. Uh. Uh, I mean, Super 4 I haven't uh. experienced heat on that bike oh. at all. Because uh, the pipe is insulated. This one, you can feel the bare heat here. Oh my uh, then my panel will feel here. Oh, no. So no shorts ah, during the ride? I guess not. You must wear long I pants. Can wear shorts, slipper, yeah. you know, <laughs> buy, buy ice cream. But don't ah, we don't. We encourage don't, uh, to, encourage wear, uh, to wear shorts and slipper. Yeah, uh, wear uh, shoes. Covered shoes ah. Uh, yeah. There's no shame in gear ah, uh, actually. 
Mm. Any wedding day, I respect you. Being a four stroke, I'm sure it operates much more differently than a two stroke. Eh? Yes, the engine brake really caught me by surprise. Yeah, when I was riding it, I was not used to it because the engine brake is so sudden, it's so strong. Mm. Okay. Uh, that bike, I don't use engine brake, I always clutch in whenever I'm slowing down. This one is fun because I can slow down a lot earlier. I can engine brake and front brake, maybe we brake a bit. Riding wise, this one is a lot more stable in higher speeds. Ooh. I got it a bit lower, so there's no speed wobble. Acceleration also no speed wobble. This one I've been 160, but probably can be more, but I never push. You never push uh, 160 only? I'm more confident in this one, I'm more confident on it. Oh. This is a new bike to me. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm still studying it. Lah. Mm. Uh, yeah, how long have you been, how long has it been under your ownership? I got it. One month. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah. so it looks like the previous owner really took care of it mm. uh, well. The previous owners are actually track riders and oh. off-road riders. Ah, okay, okay. You can see the damage. Yeah. Oh yeah, my, presum damage, uh. my presumption is that they braided off-road. Yeah, I had to mm. scrub a lot of dirt. It was not easy. <coughs> it was really not easy. For like mud, it's like really something difficult to remove. It's more calm, it's more quiet. I don't have to shout to my pillion. Uh, oh, is it? She, she smells better now. Uh, <laughs> because no two stroke no, no oil. Smell, uh, no two stroke smell. And it takes fuel also. Compared to, Compared to that bike. To now. the okay, 200. Bike, normal bike, but. Uh, yeah. What's the consumption like? Uh, this one I couldn't measure because I don't know how to measure. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I have to calculate. Lah. But typically, maybe a day more than that one, I can last about 200 clicks maybe. Ooh. Tank, but it's not recommended because uh, it has a fuel pump inside the tank. That one I can go really totally empty until the, the tube. This one you have to, once it shows the reserve, uh, you must pump. Otherwise, mm. fuel pump problems. Ooh. Oh. Can you upgrade the tank to a bigger one? Uh, uh, yes, uh, the uh. Safari tank is uh, built for KTM, for both models. I think they can do custom also. They can custom also. Yeah. Any bike, uh. How many liters are those? The one I heard some of them can do 14, but you will lose this uh, yeah. shroud. Yeah, you lose the. You can see the what the level of the petrol, how much inside left. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so range anxiety is uh, eliminated, eh? Sometimes, yeah. sometimes you come here right, then you cannot con because this part is smaller. You will finish faster. Oh. So, yeah, it's like on the frame, so it has two sides. Okay. So uh, I actually uh, ran out of fuel for that one before. Uh. I have to tip over the bike and leave the the, the wheels. So that the fuel can go to the other side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but unfortunately, this kind of bike you can put on the floor, no problem. You can drop it. It's meant to be dropped. Yeah. La. So bikes like this, they don't have uh, crash bars, is it? They sell crash bars, uh, only sliders. Mm. Sliders, okay. For those stunters, they may have uh, stun bars. Stun bars, okay. okay. <laughs> not who you are. <laughs> <laughs> For this one, actually, the contact points are the foot pad, which are foldable. <coughs> The levers are, some of them are foldable, mm. some brands. The other contact point will be the axles. Are. The axles, mm. but they are all very replaceable. Some of them can fall. So mm. the handlebar is the one that people always put, either yeah. the guards or the uh, balancers. But you don't put any, yeah? It's a new bike, I haven't spent on it. Soon, la, soon. La. <laughs> slowly, la, slowly. Saving for that week. After a while, uh, looking at two bikes, uh, I can see the appeal of uh, that bike. La. Right, it's fun to ride. I will convert you. Hey! hey. hey. hey Ducati oh, hyper motor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ducati hyper motor. <laughs> but that one you cannot drop. Uh, that one. Oh, that one cannot drop. Cannot uh. drop. drop. Why? Uh? Ducati all cannot drop. Uh. I don't know why. The fairing cost more. Uh. It's not plastic. Can oh. Place, uh. oh yeah. It's not you try, right? Is it? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Damn, yeah, bro. Tell, tell me more. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, uh, he tried because this one got all rider insurance. All rider, yeah. Exactly. Don't worry, yeah. Oh, yeah. So anyway, speaking of parts, uh, are the parts difficult to find? You know? uh, for this one, I don't think there's uh. any difficulty. Uh. Only the older one. Okay. Yeah. You want to convert to the, for example, you can get the regular, instead of the six days, get the regular one. I don't know where to buy that one. <laughs> but, yeah, there's a non-six days model where mm. the frame is black. Uh, mm. It's a 16 model, it's oh. orange. So it has the livery. Uh, for regular black frame, non six days, they have their stock KTM set. But I got spare plastic at home, so, ah, so I might change it. Might change it, ah? Orange one. Uh, nice. It's just the. It just looks good, so I. Uh, the for now. At least you kept the original. Yeah, some, 
at least to keep the orange, you know. Some Embrace the orange. Uh, yeah. KTM <laughs> owners, uh, they don't like orange and they will uh, change. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah, you know, like some Ducati owner, they don't like red. Because orange is my favorite color. Oh, yeah. 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 Ah, okay, yeah. Ah, I'll yeah. see how. Yeah. See. <laughs> Probably the adventure model. We'll, we'll see. Wow. La. I noticed the mirrors. Uh, is it like this? It's a trend mirror. La. The original ones are big Mickey Mouse ones or square ah. ones like DRZs. These Did are work? like a trend in Europe to have smaller ones. Actually, it works. Uh. It was fair, really well. Yeah. I enjoy using this. Because some people put it the bar end. Uh, bar end, right? Uh, I yeah. think our friend yeah. la, one also, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. because it uh, crash often, right? So we put it in the middle. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah. There's two uh, modes. There's a uh, mapping one and mapping two. Okay. Mapping one is a bit lesser power. Uh, there's also oh. traction control. Oh. Uh, the two is uh, more power. Whew, more power, baby! Oh, more power! power. Baby. More power, baby! You can... Uh, change the ECU, thousand dollar a bit maybe. I heard lah, cannot poison by friends, but ah uh, depends. Yeah, depends. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> engagement rule, engagement rule. Mm, engagement. Uh. But my presumption is that there should be a lot of aftermarket accessories Ah uh. uh, yes, uh, plenty uh, of power even power like, parts uh, also. They yeah. got their own line of accessories for the bike, uh, right? Usually they buy uh, armor for the bike lah. So uh, oh. like guards, carbon guard uh, to protect spiders, the bike. Yeah. Most I don't get it, you buy a dirt bike to protect, then you buy all these to protect uh, it. <laughs> there are parts that are more expensive to replace. La. For example, this one, right? This thing will probably cost you about a few hundred. This oh, only, la, the, the plastic. Shopping plastic one, $20, 30 yeah. change. All these come with the bike when you bought it. Ah, uh, yeah, correct. Very replaceable, la. that's the best part. Then this one also, the handlebar. Uh, triple clamps. Triple clamps, is this yours? Uh, this is stock for stock. six days only. Oh. That one uh, has the same one because it's upgraded. Because I can. <laughs> Update the look. Actually, the head and the front fender is not original for this right. model. And that one can you you can put this head and fender on that bike also. Oh. Yeah. Because of this triple clamp. Okay, so Azim, I'm curious about this. Ah, uh, what makes you want to own two bikes at the same time? Yeah, actually, <laughs> I wanted to move on to a two A bike lah. Mm. Uh, daily, it's a more comfortable bike. Uh. Ah, yeah. all in all, ah. Uh, it's time to let go of the 2B bike. If I ever wanted to ride a two-stroke again, I can buy a 300. So there is a KTM model that is a two-stroke la for 300cc? Yes. t Sheko also have. Wow. So would you say that the two-stroke are more garao? Eh? More instant. Uh, Four-stroke, yeah, the power is more linear, uh, yeah, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. That one just uh, adrenaline all the time. Uh. I mean, the, the moment where he on, when you turn it on, it's like, wow, suddenly everything just <laughs> revs. <my laughs> <mind. laughs> <laughs> This yeah, one ready to race, race no bro. Ready to race no. Wrong channel. Breakdown not ready to race ah. <laughs> <laughs> then of course to distinguish it from a four stroke to a two stroke, the exhaust is smaller lah. Which like you say is hot lah. <laughs> but after market exhaust for this is it? Not legal for this model. The previous hmm. years have a couple of weeks. So this current model don't have already lah. So cannot change ah. I don't know ah. Yeah, but I have to say the exhaust note sounds more mellow. Eh? Compared mm. to the 200 yeah. Super mellow <laughs> Super mellow uh. Like yeah, that, that one, one that The, the, demon, uh, the 200 demon, uh, That one is black uh, 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 The 200 is a tiger The uh, happy, happy 250 days, uh, is like a cat A bit far uh, A bit far And then we can lah Can lah Can lah So WP fork WP suspension Adjusted Adjustable lah uh. Yeah adjustable uh, mm. uh, Lower and adjusted lah uh. Maybe comparing to your EXC 200 eh, versus the 350, no height issues for this one? Actually, all KTM the bikes have the same frame. Oh, one same two frame. 5, 200, 250, 300, mm. 350, 450, 500. Oh, okay. All share the same frame, different engine, different tank size. Yeah, yeah. so oh, it's actually okay. the same. It's just that up to you whether you want to adjust the height from the forks or from the rear compression. Oh, even the cover set also the same, right? I noticed. Uh. Similar, mm. la. it's not updated. More sharp. Updated, more sharper. Okay. Yeah, more flowy. Right. But for people reduce the back just to accommodate to their two feet on the floor. Weird, right? They will look weird. Uh, right? It will disturb the, the geometry of the bike. Ah, okay. If you mm. play off or what. But a lot of people I know they they like it tall so they can have more clearance. I can imagine like select uh, like your bar so near then you so tall. So we are above all, all the mirrors except SUVs uh, and right below lorries. Okay, how does your pillion feel about riding it? Uh, she mm. mentioned it's like a plank uh. it is what it is. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it is, what it is. <laughs> like, that one has more cushion foam uh, but this one is a bit thinner. Okay, but could you upgrade it to be more cushiony? Um, yeah. Um, 
looking into getting the (uh) seat concept seat concept sponsor me please it's like three hundred dollars upgrade for the seat really soft I tried ya it's really soft it's like a sofa seat so I'm not sure if you have done your maintenance yet have you done maintenance on it yes how is it is it better compared to your two hundred this one cost me (uh) fifty eight dollars to change one bottle of oil and one oil filter that one only cost me twenty dollars each time because there's no oil filter on that one okay lah so you pump you pump gas in uh, singapore lah mainly ah yes i don't ah there's no point for me to go overseas just to pump because it runs out each day or every two days and i'm not really that new so by the time that one i if i come back it's already half maybe like here it looks like half but yeah but you go like what like here to town, town to here to town, town to pioneer, to pioneer. Wow, that's why you pioneer to home. Okay. The place in town. Does it get hot like in the city area? City area start stop. Yeah, this one is really hot. Uh, the fan kicks in a bit late lah, so I might change it to on off switch. That one there's no fan at all. Oh. So that one is like somewhat air cool lah. Uh, it doesn't need doesn't additional need a fan. help from a fan. It goes down very fast. Uh, but both bikes are liquid cool uh, for info. There's a radiator here. Yeah. But what's the temperature? They, can you see the temperature? Uh, this one, I don't have a thermometer for okay. this particular bike. For that bike, I will warm it up to 50 plus. Oh. The hottest it's got is like 80 for the water radiator temperature. Okay. This one, maybe a bit more. Hmm. I see, I see. So, so far under ownership, I mean one month plus, you got any issues or problem? Maybe the previous owner got say to you, mm. or maybe the group. This one has this particular issue where the grounding wire tends to get loose. It may seem that you have a bad coil and stuff, but because it couldn't start on some days, it keeps dying on the road. I have to like bump start and continue. It turns out there's a grounding wire that you have to screw in properly that mm. often comes loose. And 2017 models have a uh, electrical weakness uh, compared to the previous model. Apparently, uh, from the way you say it, right, you write KTM's from the class 2B, right? It seems that you learn a lot of quite the technical things of the. Uh, do, do they make good me- good mechanics or riders? You know the kind of thing. For so, KTM riders become yeah, yeah, mechanics, yeah. Uh. yeah. You mm, have to study the. Once bike you learn it, it's very workable, uh, Actually, it's very exposed. Okay. So if you know the symptoms. Uh, you know, I'm no mechanic, okay. but mm. I learned through tuition fees. <laughs> uh, as you all always say, uh, uh, yeah, so the tuition fees is really, really uh, yeah. you have yeah. to remember. Uh. So it's about learning each part. Uh. It's good, uh, it's good. I mean, if you have the passion for it, yeah. then you should you should know what part does what. And yeah. so if it breaks down, you know what to change. Yeah, or having sometimes it's engineering like, background work, uh, helps a lot. Yeah, yeah. Good. Then the grounding, like, if Kali your magnetic core spoil lah, you just change the damn magnetic core. Uh, right? Then the shock can kotor you. Uh, right. That's yeah. it. No lah, actually it's grounding yeah. wire. So good, when I had issues with my bike, and I will go to the mechanic. Some mechanics don't be me. I say something is wrong. The bike mm. they will take it lightly. Then the next few days it will break down. Mm. The owner and themselves will know, not just mechanics. I think it's important for the owner to know themselves lah. But now this Singaporean quite yeah. hampered lah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> So any KTM riders, uh, you can find our friend here. Uh, no, I'm not a mechanic. True experience, uh, true experience. Yeah. Yeah. I can share whatever I know. I yeah, have yeah, some right. friends with their 200, oh. uh, they have some yeah. issues right. with their carburetor and stuff. Mm. So, so which shop that you go again? I usually go Ahua for my servicing and some minor works. Uh, engine work, I go to Sherman. Mm. Sorry, you go there? SK Power. SK Power. SK Power. Like you mentioned, uh, uh, 200 you get a lot of looks uh, but this one mm. doesn't really attract no, attention I only got one thumbs up so far I was riding home then there was uh. this guy in the RZ I was like looking back at another car for not turning their headlights on but mm. this guy came up to me and just right beside me then he thumbs up then I couldn't react in time then he chow uh, then yeah. oh, lemak, he chow first before you <laughs> yeah. lemak bro that one multiple thumbs up multiple no. thumbs up right? even, even within the community like DRZ or Ah, uh, that one really is a celebrity. Uh, proud out to group rides. Then we were like enjoying it, smelling it, <laughs> enjoying being behind me. So it's just another motor lah. Another another motor on the road uh. But hey, still yet, can yet, yet. still can do. Yeah. Okay, okay. Want to the brock between this and that? They all better lah. <laughs> I like the term feel, brock. Feel better. Yeah. Feel better. This feel, one. So feels yeah. better. That one. Ah, that one oh. the gear change a lot smoother for two strokes. Oh, it's really oh. soft. 
the gear change is also soft this one is a bit more clunky [ah] for four stroke gearbox but maybe it's feeling [ah] (ppl) I honestly don't know yet ya I don't know yet ya so this one left two years C_O_E correct you plan to go further than that yes I will renew (err) what's your future plans with it maybe a twenty twenty four one dirt wheel can bring in I will switch over bring [ah] bring in [ah] bring in more [lah] people will buy [one] ya it's been some time since this model twenty seventeen till now because [ah] in singapore [ah] I I know other countries K_T_M they are well known for their dirt bikes (mm) but in singapore [ah] nowadays no dukes only [ah] people like duke [lah] adventure (err) what R_C correct then the original nobody like care so much ya (mm) it's such a pity [lah] so bring it back [lah] bring it back let us buy ya this is K_T_M they they still follow M_O_Q [ah] five pieces they have to meet then they bring in (mm) ya so got five people or not want to buy [ah] probably have [lah] for sure [lah] just just bring in [lah] confirm people buy [one] confirm promise (ppl) promise (ppc) if people he pay all no problem so bring in more 500s also wah 500cc [ah] and legalise 450s if sure coke can you can too S_M_R wah I love the ad in between man so shout out to KTM shout out to the wheel sponsor lah sponsor the wheel lah this one proud KTM owner no proud very proud I've seen the bikes we've seen the bikes yeah we've seen his passion his passion is next level up there up there shout out to all the supermoto community I really enjoy meeting you guys on the road you guys are uh, heartwarming sight to see on the road because you are it's very rare to see DRZs, uh, WRs, any other supermoto actually any dirt bikes, CRFs, I really like them too we are always very friendly to each other, we always wave it's uh, really nice friendly other riders like Harley communities they may not wave at you maybe <laughs> Yeah. Maybe a small motor thing to wave. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. Nice. all the time. All the Always, time. Yeah. Huh? Even across the road. Yeah. Mm, I noticed that also lah. I mean the small motor community very very small. Uh, very small. Mm. Because it's they are riding a unique kind of bike. Yeah. Okay, I have to ask uh, who would you say the 350 AXC is for? Anybody really? Uh, it's more mellow than a two stroke. Uh, it's more calm. Um, the power is there when you need it. It's very agile really to have easy to handle anybody mm-hmm. uh, young and old short or tall you can get it lower a bit maybe 150 is maybe you can uh. 150 150 uh, oh yeah. my god so short mm-hmm. probably can lah uh. can lah uh. i mean a lot of lady riders ah uh, i see them a lot of, ri- of them riding the motards nowadays uh. yeah recently got a lot uh. Uh. <laughs> to see them out i think motard is cool it's like another class of cool uh, right i see sport bike cool uh wear full face helmets oh. save your chins but full face also like the Troy Lee design, you know, yeah, that kind of thing. Oh man, that yeah. one don't say lah. Yeah. Well, Azim, once again, thank you for sharing both yeah. of yeah. your KTM EXCs, the 200 and the 350. Yeah. For him, he want to immortalize his old bike. Yeah, no yeah. more. That's why he call us. And at the same time, we also introduce his new bike lah. Wow. Yeah, and thank so you. You must call us uh, for your next bike lah. Uh, when KTM sponsor two, you. 2024. <laughs> Efan, thank you for being here. Sure, bro. No First problem. time in the bike review, no. <laughs> First time, bro. Glad to help. Glad to help. Yeah. And yeah, any riders want to review the bike, ask to get in touch with us on our social media pages below. Uh, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys <clears throat> in the next one. See ya. <laughs>